I, Jules Traveller, do solemnly swear that the story I'm about to tell you will blow your mind. But it's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Help me through the world. Take me by the hand. Once upon a time, I believed I didn't need any help of mine. Then you came along and you showed me I was wrong. Help me through the world. Take me by the hand. Stay close by my side when I need a friend. Help me. Maybe the waiter had found out where I lived. This is the third time we've been robbed. Can't you blokes do something about it? You should get some bars on the window, Mr. Traveller. We shouldn't have to live behind bars. And we wouldn't have to if you did your job. You tell them, Mum. I mean, the way things are going, it's no wonder old people are scared to walk down the street. There'll always be crime in the cities. Look, we've had our fair share of bad luck. Now, what could possibly go wrong now? You were saying? Well, that was a final straw. I found them. Next thing I knew, Mum had talked Dad into selling the house and buying an old pub in the sticks. She didn't bother asking what I thought about it either. I'm not coming. I'm not, really. There's no way I'm leaving. Oh. Traitor. Well, suit yourself. Bye. Hey, wait! Hang on, Mum! Mum, wait! We're in for a jolly trip. Day one of my exile from the civilised world. No! Why? It was just so unfair. My dumb parents dragged me away from everything I knew and everyone I cared about. Country people are the salt of the earth. Hey, all. Oh, we broke it down. Look there, strangers. Oh, oh, boy, they're, they're stranded too. Oh, oh. No, I can see them, son. I can see them. Hey, oh. Oh. Well, can I see then? Please, can I? Can yeah, right, I right, right. Oh. Now take it easy. No need to rush. Oh. Oh, Mary, 
good, son. I think you're learning. <laughs> that was our first encounter with the O'Farrell family. Salt of the earth, huh? <coughs> I thought it might be enough to make Mum turn back, too. But no, on we pushed. And even when we found out that the only way into this backwater town was on an old rusting punt, my idiot parents were still under the impression that, that we were heading for some sort of idyllic country retreat. In fact, they didn't even have a cinema or a video shop. And as if that wasn't bad enough, the next thing we got to look at was a place that Mum had actually paid money for. It's beautiful. Uh-huh. There's no TV, Ariel! Make one. And then I started to realise we really were in the twilight zone. The wind couldn't do that by itself. Could it? Here. Stand out of the way. I think we're going to have to bust the lock. I'd rather sleep in the tent. I was going to come down buckets any minute. Jules, get the ground sheet. Jules, get the ground sheet. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for that superstar of rock and roll, the one, the only, Jules Travella. <laughs> Come on, come on. No point in getting mad, Mum. This is a country. No, huh? there's always the well. It's a dump. Be fine once we get it cleaned up. Mum, it's falling down. Here. Scrub down the table while I light the stove. You mean it doesn't have an automatic starter? You're determined to find fault, aren't you? What's to like? I like the fresh country air. I like not waking up to the sound of jackhammers. I like not being burgled. This is our home now. We're here for good, and the sooner you get used to the idea, the better. Still have a democratic right to register my objection. Objection noted. End of subject. Now take hoodoo outside. Why? Because he's not allowed in the house anymore and we'll be running this place as a guest home. For animal haters. I've made my decision, Jules, and it's not negotiable. Oh. Don't look 
for me? What next? <laughs> You know there's a dead body in your tent. The hearse? You! You! You're the new owner. I am not your dear lady. I'd had the pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm sure I would have remembered it. It was yesterday. You tried to run us down. You covered us in dirt. Uh, but that was three against one. I thought you were trying to lure me into a trap. Oh, oh get real. Well, actually, it, it, it was my son who was steering. Oh, your foot was on the brake. Uh, yes, yes, but you was on my blind side, you see. Look, I don't know who you are, but I think you should go before we unleash this dog again. I'd think twice before he did that. In a small town like this, people can get very upset with other people who get off on the wrong foot. Oh. Well, uh, I wouldn't want that to happen. I knew you were a sensible lady. Allow me to introduce myself. Fergus Finney and O'Farrell, at your service. My friends call me Farrell. Pleased to meet you. Mr. O'Farrell. So that was Farrell. Bacon. You're a good pig, aren't you, Bacon? And this is Liam, good pig. Farrell's prehistoric son. Says a lot when your best friend's a pig, doesn't it? Oh, Liam had a sister called Bridget, too. But she was pretty tied up at this point. So we'll meet her later. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, son. I'm not myself today. I just found out the people who bought the help are the ones that you covered in dust yesterday. Yeah, well, they know who's boss then, eh? No, they know who they don't like, that's all. I was hoping to be a couple of days before they reached that stage because I've got to get in and search the place. Why? What's in there? It's an old... Ah, uh, it's just an old secret, son. Maybe I'll tell you one day. Yeah. All the years old, let me lock and live there, she wouldn't let me in, and now I've got to fight this lot, too. So it's a fight, is it? You bet it is. Is your father upstairs? He said he was stretching his legs. I think he was going to wander around and see if he got any new ideas for a cartoon strip. Oh, great. That means he could be gone for hours. What's the problem? He was supposed to check out the top floor. If the wood's rotten, the roof will fall in on us. Would you do it for me? Until then... I'd forgotten all about the squatter I thought I'd seen the day before. But this room was definitely weird. It was so tidy. Someone had to be living here. Squatting here, right? There are no emancipated convicts in the Lockett family. I am a disembodied spirit. Are you okay? Sure, Mum. Just talking to the resident ghost. Very funny. Hey, wait! spring from? I want you and your parents to leave this house immediately. It was up to me we'd be gone by lunchtime. 
Hey, what are you doing? Let me out! Not till you promise to leave. Come on, we just moved in. Help! Help! Oh, what was that? What? Oh, you know they say this place is haunted, Liam. Don't be a dork. Brother Liam. Liam? Yeah, Liam. Want to make something of it, dog breath? So far, I hadn't been too impressed with anyone from the O'Farrell household. And there was still one for me. Dulcie. Yes, love? Thank you. I'm trying to think. Dulcie Dixon, the town's premier artistic talent, had wooed Farrell O'Farrell with the same charms that had seen a sweep all competition aside and storm to victory in the Miss Waterloo Creek contest 1974. And for a whole host of reasons, she was the one person that he couldn't live without. Da da! Um, do you like my new robes of office? There must be some way I can get in and search that place without them knowing. Don't you ever stop thinking about business? You've got to be single minded if you want to be successful. Who got you elected mayor? It was just so I could pass the laws you wanted. But would I have trusted anyone else but you to do it? That's not the point. Oh, you know how I feel about you, Dulce. You're the Pete that lights my fire. <laughs> and as a token of my affection. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, this, oh, <laughs> It's gorgeous. Yes, the Murphys couldn't make their last payment, so I repossessed. Yep, that's the O'Farrells for you. They're just a kind, peaceful, friendly sort of family. <laughs> yes, well, I'm glad someone appreciates me. Oh, darling, everyone appreciates you. Those rat bags who bought the help don't. The travellers? Travallies, yes, you know what they're planning to do. They're going to try and turn the dump into an upmarket country hotel. I know, isn't it marvellous? I'll be discovered. My songs will top the charts. My name will be up in lights on Broadway. Yeah, like hell it will. But why? I'm the best act in the old shire. Oh, don't get me wrong, Dulce. It's just that you're the competition. They know you sing in my hotel, so they want someone else to sing in theirs. Well, stop them! I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I've got my reasons for wanting them out of the help, too, you know. Well, can I help? Is there some council law I can invoke? People whose surnames start with T aren't allowed to settle here or something. Just a thought. Actually, if you really wanted to help... Yeah? Well, it mightn't be a bad idea if we had a spy in the enemy camp. Oh, leave it to me. By the end of the day, I'll have them thinking the O'Farrells are their closest friends. <laughs> you ready for the deluge? Mm, not quite. Well, say when. When? Hurry it up, will you? David, I'm getting soap in my eyes. <laughs> the water. <laughs> David! I had no idea you were living in such primitive conditions. <laughs> oh, we don't mind roughing it for a while. 
If there's any help I can give you to get settled in, just say the word. Uh, that's very nice of you. Uh, who exactly? The Honourable Adalcy Dixon. And also, as mayoress of this town, I think it's my civic duty to take care of the welfare of all my constituents. Listen to their troubles, feel out their little woes, however difficult that might be. <laughs> now you know I wanted to live in the country. People still care. My dad wants to give you this place, and what my dad wants, he gets. Leave that alone! You make that your history! Yeah? Wake me. Alright, alright, break it up, break it up. Now, what's going on? It's all Liam's fault. Dobber! Who are these people? Are they friends of yours? <laughs> no, they're Feral's kids. Oh, real chip off the old block, aren't we, hey? You lay a hand on me! <laughs> and my dad will do you! Goodbye! Well, <laughs> love to stay, but I'd better, better leave you to get started on the cleaning up. Yeah. Come on, Bridget. I'm not going. I'll shout you an ice cream. See you all later. <laughs> Bye. Uh, why'd you punch a hole in the ceiling? It wasn't sabotage. Oh. I'm not a vandal. I don't have to rip up the floorboards to prove this place is a death trap. Well, then why'd you do it? There's a girl, a squatter, oh, yeah? living here. I saw her in the window yesterday, remember? Well, she locked me in the linen cupboard and wouldn't let me out. Oh, Jules, your stories get better and better. Why would I make her up if she didn't exist? I don't know, to cover your tracks. <sighs> Has he owned up yet? No. I haven't done anything wrong. Oh, you don't think there's anything wrong in trying to corner us into selling up? Only you would be brainless enough to buy it in the first place. Ah, party. Julian, don't you ever talk to your mother like that again, do you hear? Ah. Now, listen, we are here to stay, and nothing you say or do is going to change that. There's no point fighting because you won't win. Yes, I will. As you can imagine, dinner that night was a real laugh a minute. And then I got this funny feeling. There she was again. Julian, what are you looking at? There's nothing there. You know, Jules. It was time for Plan A to make a comeback. I'll be glad when we get the power connected. I'll do the dishes. Oh, thank you, Julian. I think I've just had an apology. <laughs> Julian! Clearly, my brilliant idea of scaring Mum and Dad into moving still needed work. So later that night, I snuck upstairs to get help. Can I call a truce? Boo! Stop doing that! What is your name? Julian. But I can't stand it. My friends call me Jules. Jules. And what do I call you? My name is Eleanor Lockett, but you may address me as Ellie. Okay, Ellie. You want us out of here, right? Not necessarily. What? That urchin you were fighting with today said if you vacated these premises, his father would move in. So? Well... I would rather suffer your presence than... Than his. Ferrells. But I need your help to scare Mum so I can get back to the city. I mean, I thought you wanted us out of here. You threw all our bags out in the veranda. I am sorry. Julia, where are you? 
So you're really not going to help me? On the contrary. Julian, I need you now. Fine. I'll do it myself then. <laughs> I knew you'd do me proud, Dulce. So I bought this over just special for you. Oh, I did have to promise to send the travellers. Travellers? Oh, yeah. We'll send them a builder, but I think I'll fob them off with old Billy. Oh, bad strategy, Dulce. He's done his old fall down. Well, I mean, would you continue to trust someone who sent you a bad workman? No, no, no. Send in Jacko. You're so wonderfully devious, Feral. Dulce! <laughs> what? Can't you ever behave? Me? Yes, you. Just sit there and keep your fist to yourself for a change. Liam's always picking on her. She deserves it. She's all gaga about Julian Travella. Bridget loves Julian. Bridget loves Julian. Oh, shut up the both of you. Here, my dear. Cheers. You're the building inspector. In the flesh. And I've come round to inspect your dwelling with a view to deciding whether or not it's fit for human habitation. Hmm. <laughs> Ellie, where are you? Here? How'd you get there? The stairs. The stairs only go halfway up. But I'm a disembodied spirit. I can walk on air. What else can you do? Pull rabbits out of a hat? Why won't you believe me? Well, how can you walk on air? It's against the law of gravity. <laughs> like that. See? Now, that's a scientific fact. And it's also a fact that if you jumped off the edge, you'd break every bone in your body. I'll prove it to you. Oh, Ellie, I believe you're okay. No. I don't need a demo. Oh. Dad! Oh. 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 Now, do you believe I'm a spirit? <sighs> well. I haven't got all day to stand here arguing the toss. My credentials are, I assure you, quite genuine. I'm not leaving until I do me inspection, and Mr Jackson here... Jacko. Mr Jackson cannot begin his renovations until you have an inspection certificate. Any unauthorised work done, and I'll call in a wrecking crew. He would, too. You're not fit to hold office. What's the problem? Him. Him? That man outside. There's nobody there. He's there. I know he is. Who? Fergus Finney and O'Farrell. I am simply enforcing safety regulations. Bylaw 132C, paragraph F.6. Here, read it out to her, Mr. Jackson. The householder shall not obstruct the inspector while said inspector determines whether or not a structure is safe for human habitation. Hmm. I'll bet the ink's still wet on that one. Oh, that's pretty nice. G'day. <sighs> You're up hard of hearing. He's sleepwalking. Oh, I'm the He's way, Feral! <laughs> what? Why are you so scared of Feral? I don't get it. He... If, if he's so much as dense a fender, I... Come on! Dad! Wake up! Away from me, Jacko, I'm not on board yet. Where am I? Right on, Dad! Way to go! Hey, 
Tell me what Farrell did to you. You would not believe it. Try me. He murdered me. He what? Stay there. I'll show you. Ellie! You see? Read that. November 4th, 1837. I was on my swing and my ma was calling me. But I wouldn't answer. I was sulking because I'd been refused permission to go to the celebrations. What celebrations? To mark the ascent of Queen Victoria to the throne. Queen Victoria? There was to be a parade down Wellington Street and a band concert at the Rotunda. Visitors came to see it from miles around. The hilt was a coaching in those days, so we were rushed off our feet and missing out on the parade put me out of all patience. So I left my work and ran off to play. And somehow, I lost my life. I'll say this for you. You've got a great imagination. I'm not imagining it. You're talking about stuff that happened last century. <sighs> Knock it off, will you? Ellie? This isn't happening. I know it's just another one of your stunts. You've hypnotised me again, haven't you? I know it was him, but I don't know why. Too, can't you? The swing. You see, I know you can. You know I'm telling the truth. If Farrell refuses to give us permission to renovate, I'll go over his head. You'll have an uphill battle. He's got a lot of influence. Oh, how could a buffoon like that influence anyone? If he called in his loans, he'd own half the town. Oh, well, Sleeping Beauty's waking up. I'll get me tools. Oh. Oh, I said I'd give you a quote, and I'm not leaving till I do. Oh, thanks, Jacko. Morning. Morning. Have a good sleep? Ah, oh, best I've had in years. Must be the country air. Did we spring a leak? No, but thanks to you, we're up the creek without a paddle. Me best suit. If I wasn't a man of restraint, I'd... I'd send in the wreckers, that's what I'd do. Yeah, send in the wreckers, Dad. Yeah, tear the place down. That'll show the town nobody beats the feral. That's true, and my status as Waterloo Creek star attraction would remain unchallenged. Star attraction? Yeah, your father's hotel. Yeah, right. The happy hour starts when she stops singing, eh, Dad? <laughs> you just gonna stand there and let your son insult me? <coughs> you keep a civil tongue in your head, boy. Sorry. So, when are you gonna send the wreckers in, Dad? I can't. They've got something that I want, remember? Oh, yeah. What was it again? Oh, nothing. I can't tell you. All I can say is, it's ours, it's been there a long time, and I've got to get in and get it without them knowing before I can deliver the coup de grace. That's Latin for sticking in the boot. Yeah, but why don't you no, tell me... shut up that... and go and plan the road. And don't slam... the door. Stop nagging the boy. I don't understand what Dad sees in Dulcie. She's a real pig. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't having a go at you, Bacon, honest. I knew you'd understand. Thought Dad grounded you. I'm only going for a walk. 
bet I know where, eh, Bacon? Ah, 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 ah! It's manners to wait to be served. Yeah, but I'm hungry. Well, that's no reason to behave like a savage. Does that mean I can't use my hands? Uh, oh, no, no. Anna's put out some finger bowls. Now, you might be wondering why Mum suddenly started doing an impersonation of the Queen Mother. Well, so did I. In fact, she decided that because Waterloo Creek was such a filthy mess, she was going to counter-attack by setting high standards of civilised behaviour. I thought it was sick. But Bridget thought it was the greatest thing since Colonel Sanders invented chicken. Don't you know that it's manners to wait until you're served? Oh, what? One you have told her that. I just had lunch at the Travellers. Oh, and what was known? Mrs. Traveller showed me how to use finger bowls. Finger bowls? Really? I'm not having any of that nonsense in this house. What do they use finger bowls for, Dad? Well, uh, they put Scotch fingers in them. No, they don't. Don't contradict me. But, Dad... Come go to your room. Just keep eating your lunch before it gets cold, Dad. Oh, I don't know. A stick of me throat. I don't see why you're getting so upset. Well, I won't have that lot telling Bridget she doesn't know what manners are. That's my prerogative. Well, should we go get them then, Dad, eh? Go show them who's boss. William, son, how many times have I got to tell you I've got to cool it till I get what I want from their house? Oh, yeah, that's right. So, so when do we do that? Well, I can't even take a look around until I get them out, can I? Right. Right. Well, so how are we going to get them out, then? C can't we just evict them or something? We can't evict them, Liam. They own the place. Hey, but don't. We can evict them temporarily. <laughs> dog a tetanus injection. Right. Now, I know this is a difficult situation, but I'm sure we can settle it in a civilised way. And I'd just like to go on record as saying that I'm here purely to arbitrate, without fear nor favour. Yeah, I still say a man's got a right to do his job without having his property destroyed. What are you talking about? What about the damage to my car? Oh, if there's any damage, we'll pay for it. Yeah, I'll get a mate of mine to check that out to... We wouldn't want anyone getting ripped off, would we, Farrell? Well, that seems fair to me, Mr O'Farrell. How do you find it? Well, I suppose so. And what about our building inspection? Can Jacko do that? No. Oh, Mr O'Farrell's the official inspector, Mrs Traveller. There isn't another one? No. no. And until the inspection's done, we'll have to assume the building is unsafe, which means you'll all have to move out. <sighs> Where are we supposed to live? You've got a tent, haven't you? This is victimisation. The help is in a very bad state of repair. Yeah, but it's not dangerous. Your boy fell through the roof, didn't he? Well, Mr O'Farrell did have a point there. And regulations are regulations, so uh, that's it. All settled. You'll move out till the inspection's done and Mr Jackson will get a friend of his to look over Mr O'Farrell's car. Well, thank you, one and all. It has been a pleasure. And could I say on a personal note how lovely it's been to see you all again? Bye. Yes. So that was that. Huh? And Farrell was now only one step away from his ultimate goal. So what happens now, Dad? What happens now? Well, son, I wait until midnight. And then I creep over to the help while nobody's in it. Can, can I come too, then, Dad? Can, can I? Can, can no, I come? No, Sam. This is a job for a feral. Well, I'm almost. Yes, yes, feral. yes. I... But you're not up to this yet. You see, what I've got to find, what's in the help, has been part of feral folklore for generations. So this is a job for a real feral. Yeah, but if I came with you, then I can. Oh, shut up! I'm going alone. That's the end of it. All right. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what am I doing here? This isn't my house. You're not going to tell me you've been sleepwalking? Oh, I guess I must have been. Well, I'll be getting along now. My sincere apologies and all that. So, how'd it go, Dad? D did you get it? Did you find what you were looking for? No. Oh, let me have a go then. T tell, tell me what it is and I'll go find it. Look, if I couldn't get past that rotten dingo, I don't see how you could. So what do we do now? We've got to devise a plan to get the dingo out of the way, don't we? How are we going to do that? By due process of law, son. Ferals always work in close harmony with the law, which in this case means... Digs! Exactly. Hey, uh, you got to come into town and help me out today. I want to do some sleuthing. You know, like Perry Mason. Who? Don't worry about it. Basically, I want to find out why you think Feral murdered you. It has to be a logical explanation. And if I ask around, well, I bet it's like one of those stories that get passed down from generation to generation. Nobody knows what happened. They said I just disappeared. It's like that. Ellie, quit fooling around. I'm sorry, Mother. What? Ellie, where have you got... Stairs. The stairs, they're fixed. They will find her. We've come to hold area Jane. Where else can they look for her? They are parents. Papa! They will have to call off the search soon. Was I really back in 1837? On the night when Ellie died? Mama! <laughs> Mama, speak to me, please! Panic, Ellie, we'll work it out. Ellie? Ellie, it's me, Jules! I had a locket too. The miniature portraits of my parents. They never did find any trace of me. This is weird. It's daytime up here and nighttime down there. Now you know how it feels to be a ghost. And they really never found you. And they never found out what happened either. Even I do not know. That is why. Why I cannot move on. Well, let's go into town and ask around. No! Don't you see? I cannot leave the property. What, this property? Yes. Have you ever tried? Well, not as such, no. It's just a feeling. Well, give it a try. No! All right, it's okay. Last night, when you said you were staying here for good. I am. I don't want to be alone again. You won't be. I promise. This is ridiculous. Where can he be? If you should see Sergeant Diggs, tell him to come straight here. Mr. O'Farrell would very much like to see him. Uh, the man's never around when I want him. You should get him a beeper. A beeper? A beeper? They cost a fortune. You'd save time and time as money. Are you trying to tell me my business, son? No, I was just... Well, shut your gob. Still no luck. <sighs> well, keep at it. And when you do get onto him, tell him I'll be waiting for him at home. I can't stand here all day. Kid. Well, boarding her up isn't going to keep him apart. If he comes sniffing round here, I'll wipe him like a dirty nose. Now, if you're wondering why Diggs is on a horse, and you probably are, it's because Farrell had knocked off his squad car. 
Clumsy oaf. Sorry, Doss. See you later. Charity said you had a job for me. Yes. I want you to gallop over to the help and arrest that stupid mud of a dingo. Arrested? What's the charge? I'm going to town. Still too scared to come? Oh. Uh, oh, no. No, I'll come. <laughs> Last wishes? Yes, please. Let me walk out the gate. No way, we're in this together. Here we go! going to be a smash hit. Like all the others, I suppose. Hmm? Did you enclose a standard dressed envelope for the rejection slip? One more insult and I'll have Feral sack you. You can try. He'd do anything for me. And me. That's what you like to think, isn't it? At least I wouldn't send him tone deaf with an endless stream of rubbishy songs. So, you think they're rubbish, do you? Well, I wouldn't expect a dried-up old maid like you to appreciate my art. Anyway... That's what you think, Theory. Why, I've collected everything you've ever written. Are you David Edward Traveller? <laughs> what are you doing here, Diggsy? Come to my attention, these people don't have a dog licence. Oh, actually, officer, you've been misinformed. We do have a city licence, which I can go and get... City licence is no good here, I'm afraid. Oh, I see. Well, I'll get my chequebook then and write you a oh, cheque. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have to fill out this application form first. Then, when it's approved, a licence can be issued. My dear boy, I should warn you, there is a local ordinance against riding bicycles whilst not actually on them. It's a terribly dangerous practice. This time, however, I shall let you off with a caution. Allow me to introduce myself. Diggs is the name, Horatio Diggs. I am the magistrate, and you, I presume, are the young Travala. Jules. Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. Is this your first visit to the town? Yeah, I thought it was time to get around and meet some people. Find out a bit about the place. Ah, right. Well, you've come to the right person. Anything you want to know about Waterloo Creek, I can tell you. So, what happens now, Dad? Diggs will get the dog out of the way, then you'll inspect the house and tell them they can't live in it. Then what? We go over and search it? Yeah, hang on a minute, son. Hang on. We have to tread carefully here. I've just realised something. If I tell them the, the help's unsafe, they might have it demolished or something, and then I'd never get in and find the uh, the thingamajig I'm looking for. Oh, come on, Dad. What is it? You can tell me. Yeah, all in good time, son. All in good time. Oh, but why don't you just... Shut up. So... To make sure the Travallis don't go pulling the help down, I'll have to say it's safe. And then to make sure they don't go touching anything inside... Oh, I get it. To make sure they don't go touching anything inside, we have to figure out a way to stop them from renovating. Exactly. Like cutting off their building supplies and things like that. Yeah, yeah something like that, yeah. So sabotaging their supplies would be a real feralish thing to do, wouldn't it? So then we have to formulate an excuse to get the Trevallis out of the help. An excuse to get them out, right. Yes. And then, with the dingo out of the way, 
we should have a clear field. Right, got it. I'm with you, Dad. I'm with you. The question is, can I rely on Diggs to impound that blasted dingo? Or should I go over and check on him? There. Done. And now, how long before it gets approved? Two or three months. Can't sell any work when they feel like it. And while your application is being processed, I'm afraid I'm going to have to... Uh, to trust or not to trust. I have to take a... Oh. Well, you know, uh... Nice to see you hard at work, Sergeant. Oh, Mr. Farrell. I was just, uh... Yes? You know, I was just about to, um... Get on with it. Are you here for the building inspection, Mr. O'Farrell? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Oh, well, if we can assist you in... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Quite all right. Um, fine, fine, yes. Oh, looks fine to me, yes. That was it? After all that rigmarole yesterday, that was it? Proper procedure had to be followed, that was all. I don't believe it. When can you start? As soon as you get your timber truck in. Yes, now, before I go, Sergeant, I believe you are here on official business. Uh, right. Well, get on with it. Um, well, the thing is, see, while the application is being processed, I'm afraid I'm going to have to take the dog into custody. Custody? The, the dog? dog? Yes. The O'Farrells are another family who've been here since the place was founded. They have some curious tribal customs too, such as the family title Feral, which has been passed down from father to son since the very first Feral. The so-called mad feral of the 1830s. He was reputed to be the worst of the lot until he discovered religion one day and tried to give away all his money. Luckily, his son, the second feral, stopped him. The kid was only 14 when he took over, and since then, 14 has been the age by which each son is supposed to have proved himself worthy of being a feral. They're a tough breed, the old ferals. Liam, trying desperately to prove to his dad that he is really a genuine feral. That's to get you out of here. Unfortunately, he still had a tiny bit to learn about being subtle and inconspicuous. And that's to stop you driving supplies in. All power to the ferals! Overall, they're a rather strange and remarkable family. You should visit them. Get Feral to show you the family portraits. You will You'd actually find walk. it interesting to compare his portrait with Feral the First. Actually, put them in the same clothes and they could be identical twins. That's it. That's why I thought it was this Feral. It was really mad Feral. Ellie? Ellie, what's going on? I don't know. I feel something pulling. Can you stop it? It's okay, I've got you. Ellie! Ellie! What's that? I don't know, it was stuck under the door. Can you make it out? I think it's a dinner invitation. What do you mean you invited them over for dinner? Well, you always said a feral's got to take the initi... Initi... Initiative? Yeah. Don't quote my own words back to me. You said you wanted them out of the house. 
So you decided you'd invite them over your birthday party so we could entertain them while we search to help. Yeah. Knucklehead, if we're here, how can we be over there at the same time, Will? If you had half a brain, it'd be lonely. Well, what if I wanted them to come to me birthday anyway? Ooh! Never you mind. The Travellers. I invited them for dinner on my birthday. Yeah, and I've already put the moccas on them. Oh, I think it's a good idea. Dulcie. But I've already invited them. Invited to what? Well, None of your business. Liam's invited the Travellers over to dinner on his birthday. <sighs> Julian, too. No, not Julian. Not any of them. It's my birthday, and you said I could invite anyone I like. Yes, depending on who. I could play them some songs. I could show Julian my press flowers. Hey, what is this, a mutiny? Yes. yes. Well, if you're all in such a benevolent mood, why not wave the dog licence while you're at it? All right. I'd better start deciding what to wear now, especially I'm giving a concert. Could you come and help me choose? <laughs> I did something else today, Dad. I cut off their supply lines. Cos if they can't get any materials, they can't fix up the help, eh? And if they can't fix up the help... <laughs> Did you do it subtle, like I told you? Oh, Farrell! You in there? Any harder and you'll be up for new hinges. It's a lot cheaper than new tyres. Here's the damage bill. I want the money in cash now. For four new tyres? To replace the four old ones, your son just slashed. Thanks. You owe me six hundred dollars. Knew Ellie would reassemble when she was ready. I knew that. I just had to relax and wait. Ellie, you've got to come back. You're a ghost. Ghosts always come back to the place they haunt. Ellie? What happened? Why'd you disappear? I don't know. It was as if some force had decided to let me out for a certain time. And when the time was up, it pulled me back here. I didn't think I'd see you again. Me either. I mean you. Look, I better go tell Dad that I'm home. I'll be back as soon as I can, okay? in jail. Apparently Diggs has the authority to do it. Under the circumstances I acted pretty calmly. I'm gonna knock his teeth uh, out. No, no you're not. No you're not. My dog is a political prisoner. I've got to do something. No, 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 no. You'll only make it worse. Now look, your mother's fixed up a room for you so why don't you occupy your time by emptying some of the boxes and making it livable. Hmm? Ah. I felt totally helpless. For all I knew, poor Hoodoo was being starved and tortured by that cruel and ruthless Sergeant Diggs. Every prisoner has the right to a proper feed. <coughs> hey, look. There's a database on supernatural... What's a database? I'll tell you in a minute. There's a database on... What is it, please? Information. Statistics. I'll never get through it all if you keep stopping me. You shouldn't talk about things I don't understand. It's as if I were a butterfly, under glass, being studied. I'm only trying to make us both understand. It's got to have something to do with the relationship between energy and time. I hate time. What? I hate it because I have no part in it. Yes, you have. Everyone has. 
It's like a river. It always flows in one direction. What if you were standing beside it, on the bank? No one is. I am. I remain the same. Everything else changes, grows older. And you don't grow older. And I have no one to share it with. If I had a choice, I'd be up on the bank with you. Would you? It was the closest that Ellie and I had felt. But what I didn't know was that Mum had started to get a bit guilty about dragging me out to the country. So guess who she invited for a few days? Maxine. Bye. Doors open, Bridget. Oh, I want Go. Oh, Is Julian around? I, I wanted to ask him something. Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, Jules, you've got a visitor. Hi, boy. Fantastic! When did you get here? Just then. I snuck out when Liam wasn't. You could say hello. Hello. Hi. Julian, I think she wants to ask you something. Yeah, what? Well, I was wondering if you'd like to... Well, if, if you'd like to come... If I'd like to what? Oh, nothing. Come on, boy. Let's go outside. Okay. I, I'm afraid you caught us at an awkward moment. You've got to get noticed. That's the first thing. After that, you fall back on your good looks and natural charm. Leave the running up to them. Dad? Dad, get what? What's this? My next payment for Jacko's tyres. <laughs> I blackmailed it out of Freddie Murphy. Maybe you've got a bit of feral in you after all, son. So Feral decided he'd finally tell Liam about the secret of the help. Perhaps it's time we had a chat in private. <laughs> Yep. Unbelievable. Guess who? Maxi! Yeah, the one and only. Oh, you look great. You too. Is this Maxi? Well, you're gonna give me a hello kiss or what? Sure. Well, what was I to do? Just like old times, eh? Yeah. Just, just like old times. Back at Feral's, and I know it's going to sound corny, I wouldn't believe it if someone told me either, but Feral's secret... Is this it? ...was half a treasure map, hidden in the pianola roll. where Mad Feral stashed the loot from his smuggling racket. Oh, a, a real smuggler? <laughs> the best till he found God and that was the end of him. Anyway, the thing is, before he found God, he stole something very valuable and he hid it in these tunnels and he drew this map showing where it was. And then after he found God, he tore the map in half and <sighs> he hid the other half somewhere where his sons wouldn't get hold of it. The home of his mortal enemies. That's what's in the help. The other half of the map. That's it. And without the other half, we can't find A, the entrance to the tunnels, or B, where the treasure is. Well, then we've got to get it back, Dad. It's, it's ours. The treasure belongs to us, doesn't it? <laughs> you bet your boots it does. <laughs> Old Feral, he stole that fair and square. Yeah, except, uh... Except what? Well, the Travellers might have already found it, you know, with all that work they're doing. <laughs> there are many things possible in this world, my boy. <laughs> but that isn't one of them. Well, that's what he thought. And, of course, any fool could see what it was, couldn't they? What's this? Bit of old junk. Do you think it's worth anything? Nah. It's just rubbish, that's all. 
Sorry to kick you out of your room. Dinner's on. Come on. So there I was, throwing away the key to a fortune. <sighs> In fact, because we thought this bit of old paper was just junk, it was also the morning that Jacko picked up our priceless map with all the other rubbish and took it to the tip. I am not jealous. That is what you were thinking. Maybe. Boys always think that. Why should I be jealous of someone who has lice? Lice? They only cut your hair off like that if you're suffering from lice. It's a hairstyle. Unless he had a book of poultices somewhere. Poultices. Heaps of kids in the city have hairstyles like that. Is there a plague? She doesn't have lice. In my day, if a girl appeared in such a manner, she was considered unrespectable. We grew up together. She's a mate. <gasps> mate! Friend. Then I hope you will make her visit extremely pleasant. Ellie? We have to think this through carefully, son. Until the map's safely in this place, we have to minimise the work that they do on theirs. Their supply line, Dad. We've got to hit their supply line again. Maybe if I slash Jacko's tyres again at night when he couldn't see oh, me. I know. The punt. Oh, of course. I don't think punts have tyres, Dad. No. But if it develops mechanical problems, shall we say, then no supplies will get in at all, which means the Trevallis might have to leave them. Which means the help will be empty. Exactly. Oh. Well, can I do the job then, Dad? P please, can, can I? Can... Yes, yes, all right. But just put it out of action. A small mechanical problem. Something like that. Hey. Right. But to Liam, a small mechanical problem meant something just a bit short of nuclear war. After all, this wasn't just a punt. It was an enemy outpost. And if his orders were to put it out of action, he was going to make sure that it stayed out of action. What's wrong with it? Everything. I can't go to the party looking like this. Well, shouldn't have slept on it, should you? Yeah, well, I can't take my head off and put it on the chair, can I? Please, dolls. Well, see what I can do. Oh, no. Oh, stop, stop fidgeting. That's it. Head up, head up. Well, how's that? They're a great-looking family, the O'Farrells. And so Liam burst into action, determined to prove beyond any shadow of a doubt that he was a true feral. Found this while I was dumping the rubbish. Wasn't screwed up or anything. I thought you might want to keep it. Uh, oh, no, no, that's just the backing off an old sign that was hanging on the wall. Fair enough. Can I see? Oh, this, yeah, I saw it yesterday. Where's Maxi? Who does give me a guided tour? It just looked old. I thought it might be worth something. No. No, no. No, I don't think so. Right. Hang on! I don't know why, but it suddenly hit me that there was a pattern to it all. As if I knew someone had drawn those lines for some sort of reason. Looks like someone's doodling to me. Bad doodling at that. I think it's a map. A map? No, definitely a doodle. So it wasn't a map. Or was it? Or was it just a doodle? And how could I find out? The only people who could tell me, I thought, would be historians or code breakers. Intelligent people like that. After all, who else could possibly know anything about it?
did what? The punt. Did you put it out of action? We've got them licked. Pharaoh! There he is! We can afford to be friendly and helpful to them now, hey? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, nice you could be here to help the family celebrate such a momentous family occasion as my son's birthday. Here's a flower that you can have. And what do you play? Oh, guitar we both do. Oh, yes. <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> yes, I'm quite musical myself, actually. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Ever been to Tasmania? No. Nor have I. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. It doesn't help not having the power on. Well, isn't that a coincidence? I just happen to be friends with the with the foreman at the substation. I'll give him a ring before the night's out and see what he can do for you. Why, thank you. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it's amazing the sort of stuff you find in an old place like the help. <laughs> Look, Jules found this old bit of parchment with a primitive doodle on it. He was convinced it was some sort of diagram or map. <laughs> oh, it could hardly have been a map. Oh, it could hardly be a map. <laughs> uh, what did he do with it? Uh, probably left it lying around, as per usual. <laughs> They found the map. You gotta get over there now. But it's me birthday dinner. Are you a feral or not? Yeah, but I the same want that map, do you hear? Can you save me a piece of cake? Get over there. Oh, this is mine. Mm -hmm. Make way for the entree. Smells nice. What is it? Cream of chicken. Good for me. Bridget! Where's Liam? Uh, he, uh, he had a couple of last-minute chores to do. He, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he, uh, oh. he, he said to, uh, start without it, yes. Yes, that's what he said. He said to start without it. Yes, well, you serve while I see what's happening to the main course. <laughs> of course, dear. Oh! Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, <coughs> excuse fingers. <laughs> <coughs> uh, on second thoughts, I, I think I might just wait for me. Hi, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Bridget. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> what a night. And you can't tell me Ellie wasn't jealous. She decided to go snooping around my new room where Maxie was sleeping. Well, his chores must be taking longer than he thought. Well, somebody's got to blow him out. <laughs> well, as his father, I suppose I'd better. <laughs> For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. He's a jolly good fellow. And so say all of us. And so say all of us. And so say all of us.
you for a, a wonderful evening, but we really, genuinely must be going. Yes, it was... Real. It was real. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Dulce has got it in her to give us another couple, haven't you? Oh, yes. Hey, what about that new one? Oh, no. Mr. Oh. O'Farrell, it's me, Sergeant Diggs. Oh, excuse me. Come in, Diggs. It's not locked. A punt. It's stuck in the middle of the river. We've only just found out. Cess can't swim. He had to wait till someone heard him yelling. Oh, it's hardly a catastrophe. All our supplies come in on it. Oh, supplies, yeah. Well, I suppose we'll survive. We have before, but, uh, ooh, might be a bit more difficult for the Trevallies. It's gonna cost you a bit to fix, too. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sure it's just some small mechanical problem. Uh-uh. Someone sabotaged it. The whole engine's been blown up. The whole engine? Hey, he did it. He actually got the power put on. <laughs> I don't believe it. Julia, will you turn that stereo off? Oh, I think I need a couple of biscuits. I can hardly eat any of that meal. Better save them for emergencies. While the punt's up, we can't get any supplies at all. Yeah. I suppose you're right. It was bad news for everyone, except the rest of the town had reserves. We didn't. Let him out and see what he was sneaking around for, shall we? But he was in here. He was. I locked him in here. Well, where is he then? somewhere last night and didn't come back. He didn't? Where do you get to? Search me. I don't even know what he went out for. I know I'd never leave my party before the cake got cut. Jules? This was really starting to get weird. If he hadn't gone home, then where had he got to? And how did he get there? And what had he been doing here in the first place? I had three questions and no answers. <laughs> Actually, at about that time, and by sheer luck, Liam stumbled upon the exit to the tunnels. And this one let you get both in and out of them. So he didn't starve to death down there after all. Worse luck. What do you mean, what did I want to see Bridget for? I just wanted to talk to her. I did, honest. What did he think I wanted to see her for? What do you reckon? 
Maxie! You don't think... Me and Bridget... She's a non-entity. Maybe you like non-entities these days. How do I know? You've dumped me for someone. I haven't dumped you. Well, I'm sure as hell starting to feel dumped. Maxie! Maxie, Maxie, Maxie! You can't get sore at me over Bridget O'Farrell. I'll never, ever, ever go out with Bridget O'Farrell. She's a nothing, a nobody. She only got into the human race on preferences. All right. But there is someone, isn't there? No, there isn't. Jules. There's nobody alive today who I like more than you. Mm. Well, if that's true, how about giving me a kiss? Well, what would you do? I mean, so what if you're two-timing? When you're my age, you can't refuse a kiss. Unless, of course... Um... What? Um... I think I just saw Mum. I think she's coming in. Let's save it, huh? Hold it right there. You, is it? Just trying to wake you up, Dad. You finally made it home, did yeah. you? Yep. And yeah. wait till I tell you what. Now, just give it to me first. I don't want to hear all the details. Sorry? The map. You did get it, didn't you? Uh, well... Now, don't tell me you didn't get it. <sighs> you didn't get it. But there's a good reason you I said... I don't care not... about reasons. How am I supposed to find the treasure if I haven't got the map? But I've got to explain... You're a donkey, Liam. You're a donkey. First of all, there was Jacko's tyres, then there was the punt, and now What's there's this. What's wrong with the punt? What's wrong with the punt? All I wanted it was out of action. All you had to do was pull out a couple of spark plugs or something. What did you do? You blew up the entire engine. It's going to cost me a fortune to fix it. Well, it's a last straw. I don't want to hear another word out of you for the rest of the week. But I've got to... Just one more word. Just one. And that pig of yours is lunch. There must be somebody who likes rock and roll in this town. Yeah, right, we know you do. What if we play? No, we're not playing green sleeve. Just a thought, Jules. Well, it's just not on. What about Hungry Heart or something? Do you remember how to play that? Hey, where are you going? Uh, just um, up here for a sec. See what's around. See what's around. Nothing's around. See more life in a wax museum. Unfortunately, I was about to find out that while it? no one else could see Ellie face to face... I'll have to go back soon. I think you should too. We still have to find out what... They could see her reflection. Dreaming it. I saw her. There was no one there. Hi, guys. How are you lying going? to me? Jaws been lying to me ever since I got here. There's no one alive. You said no one alive today who I like more than you. What a joke. It was the truth. That good, huh? Quit lying. I saw her. What do you think I am? Blind or something? How can you seriously, how can you honestly seriously stand there and tell me there isn't someone else? Maybe you should tell her. What? What do you mean, what? Tell her. There is, isn't there? Okay. Okay, there is someone who... Who is she? Yes, who is she? Will you let me explain, all right? It's that girl in town, isn't it? I'm not an it. Yes. Yes. What's her name? Her name's Ellie. Eleanor Lockett. And she's about this high. And she's got long blonde hair. And she wears cute old-style lace. I wouldn't be seen dead. It's funny you should say that. Say what? She's a ghost. A what? A ghost. You know, like Casper or... Casper! Okay, not like Casper. Like a person who's... Hang on, where's the mirror? I'll show you. I'll show you what she looks like. Except the only problem is you can only see her in a mirror. Aha, uh -huh. here we go. All right. You ready? Hold this. Ellie? No. Ellie? I don't think I like being called Casper. 
sorry. She's gone. Oh. Hey, don't cry. I'm sorry. Maxie? The drama of the last few days had made me realize a lot of things. Like, like as much as Maxie would always be a mate, Ellie was different. At least, that's how I felt about her. I didn't know how she felt about me. For 15 decades, I have lived unseen, trapped out of life by an act of violence. Then you arrive to free my world of silence. And I thank you for the friend you have been. But you are older now than I will ever be. Days come for us both, but do not go for me. We exist in one space under different rules. But I'll always love you, so happy birthday, Jules. Please place this folded note in a pocket. It is all the gift I can offer. Eleanor Lockett. Ellie was wondering what she could do to become accepted as part of our family. Because she really missed having a family over the last hundred odd years. I think Jules has definitely found a new girlfriend, David. Mm. David? Hmm. I just wish you'd tell us about it, that's all. Yeah. Mm. Unless, of course, he thinks she's too good for us. Mm. No, don't think that. After all, if he was telling the truth to Maxie, it does sound like she comes from a well-off family. It's me. I'm Ellie. Scare her. I'm sorry. I just. It's your mother. She's all right. She just saw me, that's all. I'm really sorry, Jules. Hey, it's okay. Are you sure she's all right? What? Well, Dad, Dad, you all right? <sighs> what happened? I'm fine. Really. Did you see a snake or something? No. No, no. It was. It was. I'm nothing. Nothing, I, I, I don't think. It was, it was a bad daydream. Yep, and that's all Mum would say about it. There was nothing else you could have done. It wasn't your fault. I'm really sorry, Jules. It's okay. I shouldn't have done it, should I? I don't know. It was only because she was talking about wanting to meet me. Don't worry about it. No harm done. There has to be a way. I've just got to work out a way to get them out of the house. That's the key to it. <laughs> no, not now, son, not now. Oh, oh my Lord, what is it? Why not just ask them for it? Seeing as they don't know what it is, they'll probably give it to you. What do you mean? Just knock on the door and say, can I have that piece of paper you've just found? What do you mean? Just roll up and ask for it. Oh, but son, that's so honest. Coming! 
Mrs. Trevally. My, you do look charming this fine spring morning. He used to smuggle from here, you see. That was how the mad feral made all his money way back in the 1820s. Anyway, I must have a chat to your father. Matter of refreshment, you know? But, but what happened to the tunnels where all the smuggling went on? Well, I presume they're still here. A young lad like you could go down and collect the treasure. The what? Anyway, I must have a chat. No, wait, what treasure? Thank you, Mrs. Trevally. It's just for the Shire Museum, you understand. We're always on the lookout for knickknacks, no matter how worthless they may seem. Now, the more Horatio told me about how no one knew how to get into the tunnels anymore, and how there was still some sort of treasure in them, although no one knew exactly what it was, and how there was once a map of it all that got torn in half, and how the O'Farrells had one half, but the other half was lost. Well, by that time, I had so many clues that even a dinosaur could have worked it out. I bet that map is worth something. I bet that's what Liam was looking for, too. Jules? Morning. Oh, no. But in the end, justice prevailed. Every natural instinct was saying, Farrell, don't do it. So what I do? I must be losing my grip. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Come <laughs> no, on, spit it out. <laughs> oh, it's another reject slip from the song publisher. Hmm? My dear Miss Dixon, never in all my born days have I read such a pathetic, outdated and untalented manuscript. What's well, all the fuss about? That doesn't sound too bad. Come on, it's only a song. It is the 732nd song. How many is it going to take? Oh, 733. Think positive. Now, come on, cut it out and fix my lunch. There is no lunch. There is no food. What there is is a broken punt, what's been sitting on a riverbank for days and days, while you've been walking around going... <laughs> Show me. Maybe it's in here. No. What about here, then? No. Well, maybe this one. No. Here, yeah, foodie, 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 foodie. It's not in here. It's in the garden, going oink, oink. Mm. I'm sorry, Liam, but at this moment in time, securing the help is more important than your pig. But there was no way Liam was going to let that pig become lunch. He decided he had to talk someone into hiding bacon until the punk got fixed. Come on, bacon. Unfortunately, he found no one was willing to do it. Mostly because they knew that if Feral caught them, they'd be in big trouble. We're talking serious trouble here. So pretty soon, there was only one place left. And Liam hated having to come to our place to ask for help. He really... he just hated it. Be OK. You can leave him here if you like. We'll look after him. That's it. Sure. But in return, you've got to help us a bit too. Oh, no worries. Anything. Just name it. OK. I want to know why Dad's got it in for us and what he's doing about it. What happened to you in the pantry, where the tunnels are and how you got out of them? If you don't tell me, I can't hide bacon. OK. But don't tell Dad, you promise? How'd you get in the tunnels? I don't know. I just hit something. I don't know if I could find it again. Are you telling me you couldn't get back in the tunnels even if you wanted to? Oh, no. I could still get in. I'd just go in the other way. The other way? The well? Yeah, there's a door about 
three meters down that just leads straight in. Now listen, Gills. Don't go down by yourself, all right? You mightn't find your way back. So after saving Bacon's bacon, Liam told me just how close he'd come to being lost in the tunnels forever. And then went on about all sorts of other stuff too. Like what really happened to the punt. And that was a bit I thought Mum should know about. And like all Travellers, her response to bad news was measured and diplomatic. What? What drives a man like you, O'Farrell? Actually, I didn't realise just how serious things were getting. But apparently Mum and Dad were really running out of money fast. And as soon as the pump was fixed, they were going to go to the city and ask the bank for another loan. The trick was, of course, to get the punt fixed. Clearly, the situation called for delicate negotiating skills. As much as I can stand! Please, if... We have to go to the city. And we also have a friend of Jules staying with us, and I've promised her mother she'll be back by tomorrow. So at 10 o'clock in the morning, we will be loading up the car and driving to the river, and when we get there, that pump will be operating. I don't care if it takes you all night. I don't care if you have to build one from scratch. You will fix it, right? OK. And don't say... I'm sorry? I said, OK, all right, I'll fix it. It's a fair request. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> So, um, what time did you say you were leaving again? Ten. Ten. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> Bye. 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 Uh, bye, Mrs. Jamal. Now, I wonder how she found that out. <laughs> You can't go down there. You heard what Liam said. He almost got lost. Look, I'll be all right. I, I, I've got an idea about that. Jules. Look, personally, I really doubt if there's anything down there anyway. Then why go down there? Well, who knows? I didn't believe in ghosts till I came here anyway. Anyway, now half of the map does have the treasure marked on it. That doesn't mean anything. Firstly, we don't know where that fork comes from. And secondly, we don't know if the entrance marked on ours is the well or the pantry or some other door altogether. You can't find the treasure with that. Look, it took me half an hour to talk Mum into letting me stay tomorrow, so I may as well do something constructive. Besides, I really want to help them get this place going. But it's dangerous. There's something about that well that I don't know what it is, but it scares me, Jules. It scares me greatly. I'll be all right. I will. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Right. Now, listen carefully. Mrs Trevally, in the midst of her temper tantrum yesterday, said that they were all going to the city this morning, remember? Now, she said that they'll be going about 10 o'clock, but if they're like every other family in the world, they'll be leaving later than that. So what I want you to do is go over and hide in the bushes and wait till their car leaves and then come back and tell me. That's it? That's it. You don't actually have to do anything. All you have to do is go and hide in the bushes and wait for the car to leave and then come back and tell me. Do you think you can handle it? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. What happens then? Well, I go back and get the other half of the map, of course. It blew upstairs somewhere. Well, they don't live up there, so it must still be up there somewhere. I'll get it for you, Dad. Hey. Let, let me. Hey. You don't know. No, no, I can do it. You just sit here. You Shut don't up. Go. There isn't any reason why you don't want me to go to the help, is there? Nothing over there that you don't want me to see. Oh. Uh, top of the morning to you, ladies. Oh, it's cream. Morning. Hi, Dad. Where's he going? Never you mind. Go on, hop it. Well, Dulce, I fixed the punt last night. <laughs> Cost me the, the whole price of a new reconditioned engine, but I fixed it. So, as from this morning, the shelves will be full, the mail will be flowing, and the beer will be on at the pub. Thank you, Fergus. 
The pleasure's all mine, dearest. Unfortunately, the mail was the one thing that didn't stop flowing. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Cess came yesterday. Ah, oh, but he was only delivering local letters. Yeah, rustle up some breakfast for us, will you? I'll just go out and have a wash. Now, for Dulcie, this was a mystery. If only local letters were being delivered, how come she got a rejection slip from a record company in the city? Unfortunately, it was a problem that took her a long time to figure out. So we'll let her crank up the brain cells on her own for a while. Have a good trip home. Yeah. Maxie? I'm sorry. I guess I changed. I like it here. We can still be friends, but hey? Sure. Right. Ready? Good, let's go. I'll see you, mate. Well, Jules, aren't you going to give Maxie a kiss? See you around. Bye. We'll be back about five, is she okay? Yep. Bye bye. Bye, Mum. Don't go down there by yourself, please. Come with me, then. Oh, look, what's the problem? You're a ghost, for heaven's sake. It's not as if anything's going to happen to you. I know. But it feels like it will. Something will happen if I go down there. I'm sorry. I just... I can't do it. Oh, well. So the ghost on you is a wimp. Oh, yeah, and the string was just to stop me getting lost. All I had to do was follow it back to the surface. In fact, I had complete confidence in the whole plan. It was utterly foolproof. Well, they just left. <laughs> so as I carefully made my final preparations, I remained completely unaware of Feral's arrival. And even when Bacon smelt him and pulled up his steak and tried to hide, I still wasn't watching. Jules, please, at least wait until we've got the other half. Look, I'll be okay. Just relax. So Bacon knew about Feral, but he didn't know about me. And to avoid becoming Feral's lunch, he headed straight for the house and nudged his way in, thinking I might be there. But I was down in the tunnel with the roller string for a lifeline. All I knew about was a treasure and how famous I'd be if I found it. But all Bacon knew was that he wanted to hide in the pantry. And Feral thought I was halfway to the city with Mum and Dad, so as far as he was concerned, there was nothing at the help except his half of the map, which actually was down with me and not in the help at all. Hey, what the... <sighs> That's how my foolproof plan came a tiny bit unstuck. So much for that brilliant idea. So here I was, trapped. And the only person who knew where I was, was a ghost. First of all, I paused and located my exact position. I'm either here, here, or here. Probably a rat. Hello out there. My name's Jules Travella. And I come in. Ah! I continued my search of the tunnels, covering much more ground than I thought I would. Ah! Ah! While up on dry land, 
Farrell was hot on what he thought was a trail of the missing half of the map. He didn't know, of course, that it was actually down with me. The ladder. The ladder. The dog. So while Farrell was creating havoc in Ellie's room looking for the map, I was still... Oh, hang on. i better go back to Dulcie first, because she was still trying to work out the mystery of the rejection slip. But she finally realised that if no mail had been delivered while the pump was broken, then this letter must have been forged by someone in Waterloo Creek. And at last, the penny dropped. <laughs> Don't know my own strength at times. Hasn't it been wonderful weather recently? Hope it stays sunny for Foundation Day. This arrived yesterday. Really? Hmm. And considering the mail wasn't coming through from the city, you had to have been writing it. Am I right or am I right? I thought so. Get up! Don't be such a scaredy cat. It's only a water pistol. Oh, God, man. Help! Where is it? <laughs> My manuscript. Where is it? Or do you want me to ruin that tacky little outfit you're wearing? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you intercept my mail? That song is precious. After years of being knocked back by short-sighted record companies, I finally compose a surefire it. And you steal it. Well, where is it? Come here, come here. Good. Well, you didn't think you could seriously pull the wool over my eyes, did you? You, an old maid, and me. Darcy, don't jump to conclusions. I know how this must look. My songs? Well, yes, more or less. All of them? No, well, not quite. I might have thrown the odd one out. You stole all of my songs? It wasn't me. It wasn't you? Your drawers are full of them. What are you going to tell me? It was one big clerical error? You sabotaged my career! Everything I've ever worked for! I was just following orders! <laughs> Whose orders? Beryl's! Ha! It's true! He said to stop your songs from going out because he was too embarrassed at the thought of the rest of the world laughing at you! Oh, he wouldn't say that! Well, ask him. You don't have to believe me. He was right, too, incidentally. The rest of the world would have laughed at you. Fergus! Jones have done. I decided he'd probably either stay silent and not reveal himself. Or else he'd fearlessly confront the enemy right out in the open. There's no such thing as monsters. 
There's no such thing as monsters. There's no such thing as monsters. Joel! Sorry, Jules, I can't. And even when Ellie tried to spell it out in plain, simple English, Horatio just thought he must be drunk again. Now my arms are tired, so do you mind getting me the ladder? Uh, yeah, sure, Dad, sure. Oh, uh, Bacon isn't up there too, is he? Oh, yes, he's right beside me. We've just had a couple of rounds of cards. Now, will you pick up the ladder and put it against the wall? Bacon can't play cards. Oh, very shrewd, Liam. I guess that means he's not up here then. Now, get me the ladder! No. What? Not until you promise me you won't touch bacon. I don't believe this. You wait till I get down there. Promise me, Dad, or I'm going home right now and you'll have to wait for the Travellers to get back. You wouldn't dare. I'll tell Dulcie you'll be late for dinner. Hold on, hold on. I might have been a bit hasty. Listen, how, how does this sound? I promise not to touch bacon. But the repairs to the punt, which cost me a considerable amount, will have to be deducted from your allowance. Fair enough? You won't touch bacon, and you can deduct the cost of the repairs from my allowance, but I want a $10 a week raise. $10 a week? That, that's outrageous. Well, I think it's a very fair deal myself. Five. Ten. Anything less than I'm going home now. Eight. Done. That was a very good piece of dealing you did then, son. I'm proud of you. We'll make a man of you yet. <laughs> <laughs> My songs. I found out what's been happening to them this morning. Kids, get into your bedrooms. We always miss the good part. Oh, get out! Come here, go! Come here. Now, 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 let's let's discuss this like mature adults. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 better. Why'd you do it? Well. Actually, I, 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 I myself, I, I didn't do anything. Don't. Look, I, I, I never meant to hurt you. <laughs> or your musical genius. Genius? You didn't even like my songs. You thought they were rotten, tuneless rubbish. Oh, that's not true. Ah! It isn't. I bet you five bucks she swallows it. Shh. It isn't? Uh, no, no, quite. I, I knew it was wrong. It was just that my desire to keep you for myself got the better of me. Well, then set a marriage date and give me a ring. Oh, no, Dad, no. There is Grandma O'Farrell's ring, but, but that's an antique. Oh, that'll do nicely. Wedding date. Yes, yes, we will. Um, after the foundation day, after tomorrow. Hmm? After foundation day, 
Yes, we'll set the date. We'll set the date. two things. I needed help fast and there was no one else around. And yet coming down the well was her biggest fear. Because in a way, it was like going back in time, right back to the moment she died. And she didn't know what would happen or how she'd find me. She didn't even know if she could find me. She only knew that somehow she had to try. So let's make it quick. Which way? Um. Come on, Ellie. We don't have all day. Ellie. Oh, no, something's. <coughs> Bacon? <coughs> oh. I don't believe it. All this time I've been running from a pig. Why didn't you show yourself, you stupid animal? <laughs> so that solved the mystery of the monster. But then Ellie suddenly said we had to head back down one of the forks she'd already passed. Oh, this is the way back to the well, is it? I don't know. It's the way to something. Could you be a bit more specific? No. I just have a feeling. Something's telling me to come to it. What, the pantry door, maybe? But it wasn't the door. It was this... box. Oh, boy, don't tell me! Oh, the treasure! Wow, this is unreal! But it wasn't the treasure either. I wonder who it is. It's me, Jules. It's me. Is it yours? Yes. That's my mother and father. They gave it to me for my birthday. I was actually wearing it when... Ellie? When it happened. Uh, 
Mrs. Travella? Are you home? Now, at this point, Bridget's head was telling her to hightail it back home. Uh, Mrs. Travella? Julian? But her heart was saying, don't leave until you're sure Julian's safe. And yes, her heart won. So she waited anxiously while Mum and Dad raced back from the city. At the time, of course, I wasn't aware of any of this. In fact, as I found out later, there was quite a lot happening that night that I wasn't aware of. Mother! Father! How did you get here? Oh, Ellie, darling. I remember what happened now. It's taking you so long to find peace. It's time to come with us now, Ellie. No. It is time for your spirit to move on. Why? Because you know what happened. There's nothing more to fear. No more answers to find. So it's time to come. It wouldn't be fair. I couldn't. I can't leave Jules. You cannot stay here now, Ellie. Yes, I can. You must join us. No! I won't! in a tunnel somewhere. Uh, a tunnel? Yeah, I found this. When I came over, the door was open, so I just let myself... What tunnel? Where is this tunnel? Oh, I don't know. Well, who wrote this? I found it at the police station. Jules is missing. What? He's not here. He's not in his room. Well, where is he? In a, in a tunnel, apparently. Oh, uh, what? There. See? Do you know what this means? No. Well, do you think you can find out? Our son is missing. Why don't you do something for once? Aren't you worried? Aren't you even a bit concerned? Yes, of course. Then do something. All right, all right, I will, I will. Well, what the hell? Dad needed the exercise anyway. How did you sleep? Good, but I know why beds are invented. Still, guess we ought to try and find a way out, huh? someone no one's around. Wonderful. My son could be dying. Citizens of Waterloo Creek, we assembled here today to remember our brave and fearless ancestors who established this community Sorry to interrupt, Dixie. Oh, years ago it's today. Too easy. They arrived in here. an untamed tunnel. Land. Do you know any tunnels oh, around oh, here? You see... Do you mind? I'm oh, sorry? This is a remembrance service. Yes, I know. Uh, my son's missing. I'm trying to get help. He's him. not missing. Yes, he is. Missing? When did you last see him? Oh, yesterday. We, we found a note saying he was lost in a tunnel. Does anyone know any tunnels around here? No, there aren't any. Yes, there are. They're under the help. Underneath our place? Uh, yes. Look, can we have some order here, some respect? This is Foundation Day. 
How do you get into them? Don't know. I don't think anyone knows anymore. Oh, Diggs, any chance of getting some blokes together to have a look around the property? Yeah, well, of course. Absolutely not. Foundation Day's been held here every year since 1822. Come rain, hail or shine, and no Johnny come lately's gonna stop that. Tradition still has some meaning here, hasn't it? Did you hear me? I said tradition still means something in this town, doesn't it? Thank you, sir. Pray, proceed with the service. <coughs> 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 you must be one of the most selfish, inhuman people ever born. You talking to me? Yes. My son is missing. He could be trapped, starving, any number of things. But what does it mean to you, hmm? You're too busy wearing your VC and basking in the glory of your own self-importance. I'm sorry, I need help now. I apologise for interrupting your service, but I will be grateful to anyone who could spare the time to help me look for jewels. Please. Feral? No. Uh, don't be bullied by him. I mean, if it's got to that stage, then what's the point of Foundation Day? You're here to celebrate courage, then why don't you show some? Diggs, you stay at your post. Shut up. I'm fed up with being ordered about by you. The kid's in trouble, and it's my job to help. Chief Magistrate turns up in the District Court. Tough. It's your problem, isn't it? Is it? No. Anyone else want to help? <laughs> you'll regret this. I'm warning you. You'll regret it. This is the most disgusting day in the whole history of Waterloo Street. Deserve as long as you are. Foot and mouth deserve as long you. I'm ashamed of you. Your Thank grandparents you. are Thank ashamed you. of you. You're great grandparents are be mortally ashamed of you. I think it's time we cut our losses on this one, then. What? William! You know, I think you're right. If the Chief Magistrate does turn up, it is my problem. Mr. Travella, Dixie, uh, I think I can help you. Uh, I know you how to get into the tunnels. Oh. Hey! Come on, show us it. Stand by you. Charity, darling, have I shown you my engagement ring yet? Isn't it just the most divine thing? We thought you'd like to be the first to know. Mine! Thanks. You said you can get us out of here. I can. You could have fooled me. Well, if that's the way you feel about it. Ellie, no. It was just a joke. Come on, Ellie. Honest, I was only kidding. Ellie? Well, do you wish to stay in there or not? Very funny. And so ended the Great Tunnel Search. On one hand, we discovered Ellie's grave and solved the mystery of the monster. But on the other hand, we hadn't even come close to finding the treasure. So overall, it was a mixed result. Still, the best part was that absolutely nobody had even noticed I was missing. Or had they? to move. 
move back to the city. We can't. We have to. Why? Because uh, the bank wouldn't give us an overdraft, which means we've got no money. Or rather, we've got some, but we're going to run out before we can fix this place up. I'm sorry, Julian, really, but we don't have any choice. I can't leave now. You don't think we want to leave, do you? Well, if you don't want to, don't do it. It just isn't that easy. To stay here, we're going to suddenly have to find fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. Now, where do you think we're going to find that sort of money? In the tunnels. It's down there. Julie. No, really, it is. I'll show you. See this? It belonged to Mad Feral. Mad. So I told them about the treasure and the tunnels and the map and everything. They took a bit of convincing, of course, especially Mum. But in the end, they agreed to at least give it a go. The only problem was that to find the treasure, we needed both halves of the map. There really is something down there. All we have to do is go down there and find it and we can stay. How do I know this isn't just a trick so that you can get a look at my half of the map? <laughs> you don't. That's why I propose a joint expedition. Let's say you, me, Julian and Liam, and whatever we find, we split down the middle 50-50 between each family. <sighs> How about I just buy your half? Be easier, wouldn't you think? Say a thousand dollars. I don't think so. Twelve hundred. Sorry. Well, there's no guarantee there's anything down there but junk. Yeah, it might be junk, but there might also be a fortune. Two thousand, that's my last offer. Not interested. Oh, all right then. A joint venture. But I'm not happy about the split. I mean, my half of the map's been in our family for five generations. You've only just picked up yours by accident. 70-30. 50-50 or nothing. No deal. 50-50, or I burn this half now. You, you wouldn't dare. Wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? Don't call me, wouldn't I? Hold on! Dad, 50% is better than nothing. All right. 50-50. But as long as I can supply the search equipment, at a nominal price, of course. Yeah, and I want to go too. Oh, shut, shut up. up. So we were all in one big happy group when finally... I think this must be it. Are you sure? Yeah. Just a look at your half of the map. Yeah, you're right. Where is it then? All I can see is rubbish. On guard! Hey, look, um, Bridget, Bridget, stop that! No place to be messing around. It's marked on the map as a large X. Well, it could hardly be an X, could it? No, look! What? Oh, it's an X. We found it. <gasps> Where's the treasure, then? Well, probably behind these rocks. Push. Ah. Ah. Careful. Can I open? Oh, please, uh, please, 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 let, let me open. I, 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 I am the town's representative. Can I, please? All right, Feral, you can open it. No, I'm opening it in the name of equal rights. Hey, 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 well, tension mounted. The excitement was unbearable. We were all on edge. What would it be? A million dollars? Oh. Two million? In fact, what it was was just incredible. To my three sons, or their sons, good luck and God bless. Doyle, Sean, O'Farrell. Mm -hmm. What else is there? A deck of cards. What do you think? They just look like cards to me. They can't be just cards. There has to be something special about them. It just doesn't make sense. But these are just cards, Jules. That's all they are. Whether it makes sense or not... Oh, Ellie! What? I'm not even trying. We have to figure this out, all right? 
I didn't mean to yell. I just... Well, we have to come up with a lot of money or I'll have to leave. Do you care whether I leave? Of course I do. But you'll be here forever. I think my future's a little less certain than yours. I think the fates will decide our future. My parents just beat them to it. You're copping out. How can you do this? We've made our decision, Jules. We have to you do You said it. you wanted a better life for us. I still do, but... Well, let's look at other alternatives. There aren't any. The bottom line is we've run out of money. We've got to sell. Lessons. I'll leave school and get a job. Oh, stop talking nonsense. You can sell my guitar. Please, Mum. Julian, if there was Mom, any way... Look, can we stay if I get the money? Sure you can. Good. I knew there was only one guy worth seeing. And yes, it was the same guy that everybody else in Waterloo Creek borrowed money from. Boy, wait. I'm going to have to ask you to come down to the station, Mr. O'Farrell. Since when do you give the orders round here? Come on, get out. You leave my dad alone. Get up. Now, 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 you stay here. Do something. Nah, dad will cut him down to size. Oh, I'll have you up the police brutality. That's that will hurt. Get in. Not going to lock me up. Yep. What's the charge? Bribery, intimidation, resisting arrest, cruelly to animals, jaywalking, sabotage, theft of government property, perverting the cause of justice, trespassing, grand larceny, and defamation of character. You'll never make it stick. Stop that! What are you doing? I'll tell you what, Diggs. You pay for this. Let me out. Let me out of here. I won't have it. And the rose that my mother gave me is still pressed in those pages of love Pressed in those pages of love Oh, Farrell Enterprises? Oh! Oh! Someone yeah. should gag that woman. Ah. Ah. She's gone nuts! Ah. She's after Dad's money. Hey! Hands off! <laughs> Liam, he told me to open it. Hey. Liam! He, there's no way Liam. he told you to open it! Liam! Money. Get off! I've got to get him out on bail! Dad's in jail? Yeah! Oh, I told you to do something. Now look what's happened. I'll do digs. That's what I'll do. No, you've got to stay here. Oh, in a pig's eye, I'll stay here. Meryl wants you to fix Diggs' car. Right. I'll fix it all right. Who do I pay? Go and find Diggs. Oh, Diggs, okay. How did the treasure hunt go this morning? Oh, complete disaster. It's been a wild goose chase all along. You mean you didn't find anything? Oh, we found something just wasn't worth anything, that's all. So is this all the cash you've got? What do you mean, is this all? There's a fair bit there, you know? Yes, I know, but if it's all going to go on your bail... I... What are you trying to say, woman? You'd rather I stayed rich and in jail? No. I just want to know how you intend to pay for our wedding if all the cash you've got is going to end up in Diggs's pocket. Yeah, good thinking, girls. You're right. We'll have to call the wedding off. You better not be serious, Farrell. Oh, I am. There's no choice, girls. It's off. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. It isn't. It is. It isn't. It is. It isn't. It is. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. The wedding is off. It's off, 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 off. The wedding is off. Well, if it's off, we're off. Can you down to a dull roar, please? Oh, what's happening? 
I have lived with you and cooked for you for ten years. And I think I deserve this money just as much as you do. Goodbye, Fergus. What? Hey, Dulcie! Hey, Bridget, go and get that money off her. Well, what's happening? Aren't you going to marry her? No. Hey, Dulcie! Why well, don't you stand there, girl? Go and get her. Get the money. Oh, Charles, wait up. I'm coming with you. Hey, Bridget! Bridget, you get that money. You hear? <sighs> That's gratitude for you. I oh, could kill both of them. Breaking a contractual agreement and threatening to kill. What? Jail and he can rot there forever, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Just a little piece of redecorating, and that's the last touch I'm going to give to this compost heap because I'm off now to pack and leave. Oh. What are you doing? I'm here on business. Where's your dad? Oh, he's in the lockup. Why did you want to see him? I just had a proposition for him, that's all. Uh, a, uh, business proposition, was it? Uh, yeah, actually. Uh, well, um, in Mr O'Farrell's absence, I do have financial powers of a wide-ranging and executive nature. So, uh, if... I see. Uh, well, I was looking at restructuring our asset and debt portfolios so as to, um, uh, refinance... You want a loan to do up the help, in other words? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dolph, if, uh, if Dad's still in jail, you've still got his dough, right? And I'm keeping it, Liam. You're not getting your stinking hands on one lousy cent. And neither are you. Um, it appears I may have a uh, temporary liquidity shortage, which would, uh... You got no money to give us, in other words? No. Hey, Liam, are you responsible for this? Yeah? What are you going to do about it? Hey, watch it! Well, at least Diggs was having a good day, because let me tell you, nobody else was. Have you been? You show no respect for other people's things or their feelings. In fact, you never think of anybody but yourself these days. You should see my bike, David. Only half of it's there. I don't know what's got into you lately, Jules. Really, I don't. You hated coming here, and now we have to leave you moving heaven and earth to stay. You don't want to stay. Is there a law against that? When will you get it into your thick skull that we don't want to go? We have to go. David, will you tell him we have to go? We have and to And it would go. make it a lot easier on all of us if you would just accept that, OK? Anyway, where have you been for the last three hours? Jules, please, let's... I rode into town and I robbed a bank. Satisfied? <sighs> Handled that really well, didn't I? Mrs Travella. If you can hear me, can you hear me? He'll get over it. I bet he went to see his mystery girlfriend today. No, he didn't. <laughs> Wonder who she is. <laughs> well, I don't suppose we'll get a chance to find out now. Hello, Mrs. Travella. It's me, Ellie. Please stay. If Jules leaves, I'll have no one again. It's been wonderful having a friend. Someone who can see me and hear me. You OK? Oh, well. It was worth a try. And at the very least, Ellie thought that even though Mum wouldn't listen to her, I always would. Hi. I presume you had no luck raising money. These are our only chance. I just know these cards are meant to mean something. Jules? Yeah? 
Ever since we found my... found me down in the tunnels... <gasps> I've got it! I've got it, I've got it, I've got it! Jules, please, hang I... on! If I'm right, I can find the treasure! I can do it, Ellie! I can stay after all as long as... Yep, we're on our way. It was in Mad Farrell's letter. He talked about his sons, right? Well, in a pack of cards, the sons are the Jacks. So the clues to the treasure are on the Jacks. May I just finish... In a minute. So what have we got? An arrow, stick figure of a girl, a pair of feet and a pair of scissors. Arrow, girl, feet, scissors. What does it mean? Any ideas? Do you? I'm asking you. You're the one that was around at the time. You're the one that knew the guy. Can't you help me at all? David! We're homeless, David, without an house nor a bed. <clears throat> that brute of a man has treated me like dirt one too many times. If you don't take us in, we'll have to sleep in the streets. Um, OK, you're in. Anna will look after you. How tough! <laughs> well, put it all down, How you? come I, I get all the jobs? Because you're beautiful. You uh, decided how you'll plead when this comes to court? Uh, we're hoping we can settle it out of court, Your Worship. Ah, I see. Well, I have jotted down a few conditions that would have to be upheld if that were the case. Over my gap! Uh, we'll agree to them. What? And uh, you'll get your squad car back complete with engine and tyres. It's a pleasure doing business with you, Liam. Oh. Subtle, Dad. you got to be subtle, like. Oh, shut up. Hey, what's happened to Dulcie's peaches? She took them with her. She's really left me. Think of all the money it'll save you. Oh, yeah. But who's going to cook me dinner? Hey, Bridget? Oh, yeah, she left too. Bridget's gone too. Yeah, still, that's hardly a loss, eh? What have I done to deserve this? Well, in a word, he'd neglected them. And where was I when Ellie needed me? Yep, still treasure hunting. Just call me Mr. Sensitive. Arrow girl, scissors feet. Someone's got to be able to help me. There's got to be someone. Mm. Well, what does it mean? I don't know. There was a girl disappeared from the help once. Uh, Eleanor, I think her name was. Yeah, I know. Do you think it's got anything to do with her? Maybe, maybe not. She was a pretty little lass, by all accounts. Ah, lass! Yes, yes, that's it. The treasure, of course. What is it? Goodness gracious, and everyone thought the old dog had smuggled it out of the country. Incredible. Smuggled? What? So the treasure was real, all right. But while Horatio was telling me all about it, something else happened. And to think that if I'd only spent a bit of time in the last couple of days just listening to what Ellie wanted to talk to me about, I could have stopped it. make things difficult for Julian. No, he can see me. He is the only one who's ever been able to. Oh, why's that? I don't know. I suppose he's special, that's all. Yes. He's special to me too. Has he told you we're leaving? Must you? But 
But, Mrs. Traveller, if you leave, I must too. What do you mean, come with us? No. I must move on. Away from this world. You see, when Jules and I were down in the tunnels, we found my... Well, we found me. And that is what my soul had been seeking. So now I should move on. Except I don't want to. I want to stay with Jules. Why? He's my only friend. And somehow, I feel we should be together. I do. I feel that. Oh, Ellie. It's an impossible situation. If we stayed, can't you see what would happen? Jules would grow older, he'd want to go to the movies, he'd want to travel, and... and eventually he'd want to marry and start a family. How long could you and he last? You belong somewhere else, Ellie. And you should go there and let Jules be free to live his life among real people. You may not have to leave, you know. Jules has not yet given up hope of finding the treasure. Even if he does find it, we can't stay as long as you're here. No! For Jules' sake in the long run, if you refuse to move on, we still have to go. But that... that gives me no choice. No, it doesn't. Stay stubborn. Well, I can't think of anything that could possibly happen that would want to make him change his mind. He just might, David. That's all I'm saying, all right? It's just a comment. You don't have to keep disagreeing with it. Okay, okay. Pardon me for dreaming. Yeah, temper, temper, Dad. Oh, shut up! Dulcie, really, I am. Dulcie, stop it. I, I didn't mean it. It's just that I, I, I'm not feeling. Hey, 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 hey. what's wrong? And now, this is it. We've finally got to the moment you've all been waiting for. Because while all this heavy emotional stuff was happening up top, I found the treasure. See, what Horatio had figured out was that two feet just meant 24 inches. And the arrow was a direction. And the scissors meant cut. And the girl was a lass. So, if you measured two feet to the right of the cross that was marked on Mad Farrell's map and dug around a bit, what you'd find was a cut lass, cutlass, which is an old sort of sword. Except this one wasn't just any cutlass. You see, before Sergeant Lockett had come to Australia, he was the Duke of Wellington's Batman. And after the Battle of Waterloo, the Duke had given his Batman his sword. So this was the treasure. Nick from your parents. If you give the okay, we can sell it for a mint. The sword is yours. Great. Let's go spread the good news. Goodbye, Jules. I love you. And that was the last time I saw Eleanor Lockett. Julian! Where have you been? What's that? Oh, it's a treasure. 
It should sell for tens of thousands, according to Horry. Why don't you call one of those those auction places and see what they reckon? It belonged to the Duke of Wellington. Blimey, right. The Duke of Wellington? Well, where'd you find it? In the tunnels. Julian. Julian, wait. Are you okay? Sure, why? Well, if... Uh, if that thing really is worth that much, then we can stay here. Probably. I thought that's what you wanted. Yeah. Well... Aren't you happy? Sure. Oh, good. Well, as long as you're okay... Right, thanks, Mum. Uh, thanks for your help. Bye. what they say? Well, they said they'd set a reserve price of fifty to sixty thousand dollars. But it's sure to sell for more! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> I don't believe it. We can keep the place! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dulce. I knew you'd be missing me. So I've decided to bite the bullet and ask you to marry me. Never in a million years, Feral. I wouldn't marry you if you were the last man on Earth. Oh, don't be like that, Dulce. Tell him to go, Hayway. Don't you dare. <clears throat> Anna, come here. We can... David! Oh, come on, it's only Feral. You can hang on to your ring. I was going to. How do I know you won't renege on me again? Oh, Bridget wants a mum. If you want a surrogate mother for your children, take out an ad. I wasn't doing it just for Bridget. I'd do anything to have you back. I'd want the full white wedding. And that's not negotiable. All right. We're home and home. Shush. And a reception for 70 guests. 25. 50. Done. Now, about the marriage settlement. Ain't love green. I told Julian, but he didn't... Shh. What's going on? Go in and find out. You're not getting a penny out of me, and that's final. Guess who's going to be your new mummy? Oh, Dad! <laughs> I'm not your mummy. Another one bites the dust. And aren't we glad of it? <laughs> Mum. Hmm? Can we make the help look like it did... when the lockets lived here? Jules, I... I should tell you I know about Ellie. I spoke to her this morning. This morning? What'd you say to her? Tell me! I was trying to do what's best for you. You didn't tell her to go. Yes. You told her to go. You did that. Get away. Jules, wait! Get away from him! <laughs> What's this? A consolation prize? I want it back! Give it back to me! Over the next couple of months, the sword was sold and renovations to make the help a guest house were finished. And booking started flowing in. Julian. We were all one big happy family. Ah, uh, no. No, breakfast is included in the tariff. Yes. Uh, what was the name again, please? Uh, how do you spell that? And Farrell and Dulcie went ahead with their wedding, too. The only hitch was finding a best man. But eventually Liam agreed to make the supreme sacrifice. He made sure everyone knew how he felt, though. But all I could think about was Ellie and what I'd lost.
flourishing, my dear. to thee, Dulcie Dixon, as your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, sharing all your worldly goods. Could we skip that bit? Not unless you want me to leave you at the altar. So Liam finally made the grade. Oh, that all nice and tight together. Hey, move in, that's it. Either. Don't stand in front. Right. Everybody, big smile. Social, aren't you? What's got into you the past few months? You know. She must be some ghost if you're still this hung up on her. You would have liked her. Yeah. I think I would have. And I did. Huh. She did, Jules. Now, look. I think it's about time I said a few words about all this. Particularly considering your mother's beginning to get really upset about it. Well, she's the one... Oh, shut up. I've got the floor at the moment, sport, OK? Thank you. Now, I know it's not easy getting over broken relationships. But billions of other people have managed to do it, so it hardly falls into the impossible category either. And there's something else I want to say. Although your mother has been overprotective, she has always, always had your long-term happiness at heart. So... If I don't see you downstairs giving her a hug and a kiss within five minutes, then I have ways of making life uncomfortable for you. You'll get my drift. I reckon it'll be his turn next. Yes, well, if that should come to pass, you must do the catering act. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. If a man can't wet his whistle, your fruit punch is a very palatable substitute. I could think of numerous ways to spice it up, of course, the odd additive, that sort of thing. I think in enough quantity. I'm sorry. sorry. Why don't we do this first thing? No, we've got our first guest room. No, we can all get up and... No, I'll get up. <laughs> 
first thing tomorrow night. <laughs> I will. Sure. Hey, you feel like a bath? Yes. I'll draw you one. It was Ellie's favourite song. It's funny. Ellie and I did so much together, and now I don't even have a photo of her. Why don't you write a story? Who'd believe me? Who cares? Writing everything down will keep the memories fresh. <laughs> and when you write a book about someone, they never die. So that's how I came to be writing this book. Guess that's about it. It's still hard to believe Ellie's gone for good. Sometimes I kid myself that if I close my eyes and count to three... Hello. I'm Eloise. Come to stay. Which is my room? 